Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Geeked Out Nation as we go ahead and take a look into another episode of Austin and Alley. This is season number one, episode number three, titled Secrets and Songbooks. So, uh, yeah, man, this show has been so far pretty awesome, pretty amazing uh, what we've seen so far, although I was a little upset with Austin in the last episode, and the reason for it is because uh, he was so giving so much pressure to Allie, uh for, for helping him to create another hit. If you guys remember uh, in the first episode, Episode, he technically stole Ali's song and it blew him up. It blew him up. He went viral uh, and it lasted maybe about a good week or two. And after that, uh, the the public, the the media was just desperate and, and wanting more from Austin. And it was putting a lot of pressure on our character, Ali. And I felt so bad for her, you know. But, you know, the way that the last episode ended, I thought was really awesome uh, to see Austin go ahead and, you know, not hide it. You know, I love the fact that he was able to go ahead and give Ali credit, especially in front of the public eye. Uh, we we know and saw how scared and how nervous she was uh, to be in, in the spotlight, to be on stage. And it was just so awesome to see uh, Austin kind of be there for her and give her her credit, man. And I liked what I saw in these first two episodes. I'm not really sure what to expect with this next one, but I'm sure it's going to be a fun and good time. So if you are a fan of Austin and Allie and what we do here, of course, in Geeked Out Nation, feel free to leave the like, comment, subscribe. And of course, check us out on our Patreon if you guys want early and unedited episodes. Ladies and gentlemen, let's jump into this. Let's have a good time and see what we're getting ourselves into. Once again, this is Austin and Allie, and here we go. Well, we don't want anything to break. Right, that's expensive as fuck. <laughs> oh, what the hell? <laughs> Damn, that sucks. Damn. <laughs> I've been waiting all. That was some good timing there. Oops, sorry, I meant. <laughs> <laughs> when the f there's no way I can make it with sandwich. Lost this a month ago. Uh a month ago? That's just wrong. At least share. <laughs> oh my god, what? Why? <laughs> Why? What are you doing? I'm using my superhuman. Found it. Wow, your nose is amazing. No, I didn't smell the book. I just remembered I used it as a roof for my gingerbread house. Oh my goodness! Why? Hopefully Why you didn't mess it up. House? What? You want my gingerbread man to live on the street? <laughs> no, I want him to lick juicy stuff too, or she wouldn't be so worried about someone reading it. No. Don't you guys do it. No. <laughs> guys. It's going to be pretty juicy stuff. So juicy. She's not going to help you anymore. Don't do it. What do you think? It's not like Allie ever told us not to touch her. Ceiling with something sticky like jelly. And we could see the pages from down here. Yes. Oh, no, you guys are just going to mess it up. All the way to the store to get jelly? By the time we get back, what do you need? I got grapes, strawberries, <laughs> got some jam, got a bunch of marmalades, some chutney. This is and his name is Dallas. What are the odds? Be cool, here he comes. Excuse me. Oh, I know who that is. Oh, oh so you like throwing trash away. <laughs> Oh, it's Asus! Yeah, I guess. No, the scar gave it away. Healing, but not always so appealing. Catchy. But too close is kind of gross. Gotta go for what you want. But just keeping things on a friendly level is also a good option if you want things to say it's Des, you can end all this senseless suffering right now. Tell us. Never. <laughs> I what Benjamin would look like without a head. Hmm. Austin read Ellie's book and knows she has a crush on him. What? There. Uh-oh. Now you know everything. What are you doing? I said I told you everything. I know. Come on, Uncle Hank. <laughs> it was his uncle. Boss <laughs> is coming. Lipstick. Oh, Mwah. Oz 
Austin. Mwah, Austin. Mwah, Austin. Mwah. Is he gonna get a fake tan and sweat a lot? Yep. Hey, Allie. How do I look? Bad. Orange. I know, right? Brings out the color in my eyes. Ew, I hate fake tans. Really? My thirsty, but okay. <laughs> Are you nervous about oh my nice god. Day? You're kind of sweating a little. How did they do that? Am I? Didn't notice. How did they pull that effect <laughs> off? So, uh, tell us about your music. It's really, really fun, you know. Peppers were really hot. Um, okay, I'll send I have Um, but you know, uh, there's still one thing that bothers me. Why did you freak out so much when you thought I had a crush on you? Right. Am I that horrible? No. No, Allie, you got it all wrong. You're awesome. I did that stuff because you're my friend. And I don't want to... <laughs> what? The Jumbotron? I thought we weren't doing that. I <laughs> started eating her hair. <laughs> Hopefully we can see the performance. Oh, yes, we are. I thought that was the episode. Hey, okay, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was our episode for today. Season number one, episode number three of Austin and Allie. Okay, there we go. Secrets and love. Uh, secret. I was gonna say secrets and love song. Secrets and songbooks. Right, songbooks. Okay, okay. Anyways, that was a pretty good episode. And you know what? I thought that the punishment was quite fair. To be honest with you, yeah, man, you should have never went through her book. Now, to be fair, okay, it was just as much as Des fault as it was Austin. Okay, let's not forget who really opened the book in the first place. Let's not forget who really really wanted to go down and and get into the book and read it you know what i mean so i i felt like des deserved a little bit of the punishment as well but yeah man i i love that ali was able to get austin in that you know the way that she did uh i can't believe he went to that extent of getting a fake spray tan and of course sweating a lot i wonder how they did that one spot where you know of course he started just sweating a whole bunch. Now, maybe that was just an edit and maybe they just poured like a whole bunch of water and then, hey, action, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but that was kind of funny how they, they made it like over the top with the whole sweat and stuff because of the pepper he ate. Uh, but no, man, it was a good episode. Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was great to see uh, the, the the actor who plays Jesus uh, from The Fosters. As you guys know, I'm currently reacting to that show and uh, he's on there. He's on there and I didn't know he was in anything before that. So it was really cool to be able to see actually i know before that yeah because i do know he's on a netflix movie i'm not sure exactly what movie but i think i've seen him on a netflix movie before uh i just don't know if that was before the fosters or not so yeah but anyways long story short i'm currently watching the foster so it was cool to see him here uh as a younger kid and stuff like that um don't think we'll see him again but that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. Um, at the end, the episode was a banger. Uh, I like the song at the end. Very catchy. Very, you know, pretty good. Uh, I do know that the actor who plays Austin, is his name Ross Lynch? What is, let me see. Do they do they ever say what his name is? Let me see. I don't know if they'll mention. They, they most likely do, right? They, they do the credits. Maybe at the end, that's probably where I see it. Ross Lynch, right? Is that his name? Ross. Uh, I think I just saw it say Austin. Didn't it just say Austin? Hold on, let's see. Um, let's see. I'll find out right now. I think his name is Ross Lynch. Uh, Austin. Okay, I guess not. Is this even right? This doesn't even look like... Huh? What the heck? Can you guys explain to me what this is? This does not look like his name. I thought his name was Ross Lynch, but whatever the case may be. Uh, I, I, I know he is part of a band in real life, so I do know that he is musically uh, pretty gifted and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool to see him, you know, showcase his skills on this show. And yeah, it's really fun so far, this show. This show has been really fun. It's been 
pretty funny at times as well. And uh, I enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys did as well. Um, so feel free, leave the like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this episode. And uh, I'll see you on the next episode of Austin and Alex.